one day to walk among the living again, and you spend it here. Is that supposed to be a question? I fairy souls. People are always dying. I really have time to dally in one realm or another. You are now. Rarely. Furthermore, I would never be able to stay, so I see no point in tasting something I can't have. It runs the risk of replacing apathy with desire. You have a myth about that sort of thing, I believe. Tantalus? Yes. Frankly, this whole arrangement seems to be an exercise arranged for proving just that. People are given a day to live again, and all they want is to stay and indulge in sins of the flesh for eternity. Except you. In the city, people take the trains every day to work to school, to grandma's, to the movies, grocery shopping. Teenagers, businessmen, parents, homeless people. All kinds of people t in, all ki in all different stages of their lives. On any given day, some are happy, some are sad. Some people are pissed that the train is late, and the some are glad that there is a train at all. Some are sick, some are on their way back from the gym. Some are drunk, or sober. It might be a kid's first time on a train, and the old man in the back might maybe be riding for it since he was the kid's age. And? A day isn't enough time to relive your life in its entirety. The closest I could think of was to come here and watch people. Let them remind me of when I was young, sick, tired, a student. A friend. And experience these things vicariously? So it's not really all that different from the people who spend the day in a haze of alcohol, drugs, and endorphins. You're just taking quantity over quality. How dull. That's not it. I just wanted to reflect. Figure out whether I liked my life or not. If I did anything worthwhile. And if that even matters. Sounds even more masochistic than I thought originally. Perhaps. And what did you conclude? I haven't yet. But that's fine. Not that I expect you to understand. It's of no difference to me, at any rate. The day is over. Time to go.